Hi guys, welcome to this 11th tutorial in this series of programming Arduino with flow code for absolute beginners. In this tutorial, we're going to design an automatic temperature control system. An automatic temperature control system has an ability to monitor and control temperature of a specified area without human intervention. This project uses an Arduino Uno to automatically control the temperature of a specified area but almost any Arduino board with enough input and output pins for our LCD, keypad, fan and heater relays and at least one analog input pin for a temperature sensor can be used. This controlled area could be a small plant, a house or any place or device that requires a controlled temperature like a chicken incubator for example. The desired temperature is set using the keypad but if you don't have enough pins on your Arduino board the same can be achieved by using at least two push buttons with some minor changes in the code. The temperature is read using an analog sensor. In this example we're gonna use one LM35 temperature sensor but more sensors can also be used depending on your requirement like for example adding more than one temperature sensors or adding a humidity sensor as well. We're gonna keep this project simple so we're gonna use only one temperature sensor but the possibilities are limitless to expand it further. The Arduino will read the temperature continuously and compare it with a set reference temperature. If this set reference temperature is higher than the measured temperature, then the heater will be switched on to warm up the area. But if on the other hand, the measured temperature is higher than the reference temperature, then the fan will be switched on to cool off the area. The LCD will show the measured temperature continuously. Before we design the circuit diagram, let us look first at the finished project. This is a project in flow code. We're going to apply the skills we have learned in the previous tutorials, like how to use an LCD, a keypad, a relay, to read analog sensor, EEPROM. We're going to also use macros in this tutorial. In fact, we're going to have three macros. We're going to have the set temperature macro, the read temperature macro, and the compare temperature macro. Let us run the project. Gonna display automatic temperature, then it's gonna prompt the user to enter the reference temperature. Let's say the reference temperature is gonna be 28. It's gonna the system is gonna accept up to two digit temperature. Once you are done, you can press the hash key to continue. It display the reference temperature to be 28 degrees current temperature it's reading as zero you can increase the temperature once the current temperature is above the reference temperature the fan relay will be switched on to cool off the area and once the current temperature is below the reference temperature then the heater relay will be switched on to heat up the area if you want to change the reference temperature you can press and hold the star key for more than three seconds and it's gonna prompt you to enter the new reference temperature gonna enter one degree enter press hash key gonna go through everything in this tutorial we're gonna explain every code in detail let us simulate in Proteus as well run automatic temp control and press the enter key to end we're gonna set the reference temperature to 23 degrees celsius press the hash key to continue you can see the current temperature is higher than the reference temperature that's why the fan is rotating to cool off the area but if the temperature decreases, let's say below 23 degrees, you can see now the fan is off 
and the heater is switched on to warm up the area. You can also press and hold the star key for more than 3 seconds to enter the setup mode. You can set the new reference temperature and once you click on continue this new value will be stored permanently in the Arduino EEPROM which is a non-volatile memory of the Arduino. So in this example we're gonna set the new reference temperature to let's say 18 degrees enter so we're gonna stop the simulation and restart it again we're gonna see the reference temperature will remain the same because it was saved in a non-volatile memory of the Arduino stop start simulation again automatic temperature control you can see it did not prompt us to enter a new reference temperature because it was read from the memory this is part one of this project. In this part, we're going to design the circuit diagram and build it on breadboard. So let us start with the circuit diagram first. The first thing we're going to need an Arduino board. We're going to use the Arduino Uno. We're going to need an LCD, 16 by 2 LCD. We're going to need a keypad. We're going to use this 3 by 4 matrix keypad. We're going to need a temperature sensor. We're going to use the LM35. This is a precision centigrade temperature sensor. It can measure temperature from minus 55 degree to 150 degree Celsius. We're going to need some transistors to drive our relays. We're going to use the BC108. This is a silicon NPN low power bipolar transistor. Depending on the relay ratings, any similar transistor can also be used. We're gonna need two relays. We're gonna need a fan. We're gonna use a DC motor to represent our fan. We're gonna need a heater, so we're gonna use a bulb to represent our heater. We're gonna need two diodes. We're gonna use the 1N404. We're gonna also need a couple of resistors. Resistor 10K. Resistor. And lastly, we're gonna need a variable resistor to change the contrast of our LCD. Okay. Let us now connect our component.
we have connected all the component the keypad columns are connected to Arduino digital pins 11 10 and 9 and the rows to digital pins 8 7 6 and 5 the heater is connected to digital pin 4 and the fan to digital pin 3 the LCD RS pin to digital pin 2 the enable to A5 and the LCD data pin to A4 to A1 the LM35 temperature sensor is connected to A0 diode D1 and D2 are freewheeling diode they are used to suppress the back EMF generated by the coils of the relays when switching on and off as this back EMF could destroy our transistors the diodes are connected in reverse bias. We're gonna use 5 volt relays and 12 volt heater and fan. Please note the terminal ratings of the relays should depend on the power ratings of the heater and fan. If you decide to use 220 volt heater and fan, use appropriate relays which can handle that voltage and current. The low voltage DC of the coil should be preferably 5 volt and with low current for the BC108 transistor to handle or you can use a different transistor. Please observe the safety precaution as high voltage like 220 volt to 110 volt is very dangerous, it can kill you. If you have never worked with high voltage before, please seek assistance from a certified electrician don't attempt to do it on your own or you should use low voltage load as in this demonstration. Let us build our project on breadboard. We're gonna use the freezing virtual breadboard. Here our component on breadboard. We have decided to connect the keypad directly to the Arduino board while the rest of the components are mounted on the breadboard. You can use some jumper wires to make all the required connections. Please note never connect high voltage on the relays if prototyping on breadboard. It's very dangerous. There is high risk of electrocution. As I use dedicated relay board or use low voltage as in this demonstration. In this example, the relays are controlling 12 volt load which is safe on breadboard prototyping. And that's all for this part one. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel to receive more tutorials in the future. And if you've got a suggestion or a question, you are welcome to leave a comment. We're going to reply to each and every comment that you're going to leave. Please like it and share it as well. And I will see you guys in part two. Thank you.